Greetings. Thanks for joining in with me today. I have a really uh, interesting video to show you. It's going to be very short and it's going to show you a functionality within Q&A and paradoxically I'm going to show you how to use it and then tell you you should not use this very often. I consider it a fundamentally bad uh, practice. I will admit there's a few times when it has um, come in handy that the only way I could solve a problem was to do this. But I will tell you also that it is, you can easily mess things up with it. So let me show it to you and um, some smart aleck will pick this up and feel like they've just learned something really powerful. But it just, um, I think it's it's sort of a, a, a tricky business. So let's um, just get going with it and let me start off by showing you this query. I have a little query of all these sheets I have built in preparation for this video. So this is just not extra stuff here but things that we're going to use during this video. I built this query here that is giving me my name of and address of the organization. If you've been watching these videos you know exactly how it was built but let's just review it. Okay so we start with the first line and it's looking at our address record 0000, 000, 000, 000 and it's throwing out the first name the first address line 1. Okay and the next one is the same but it's just doing address line 2 and so forth address line 3 and address line 4 okay and to me that's the pre preferable way to construct the query but let me show you this the sort of the point of the video we have the query right here sheet here where we're getting the exact same results but when you drill down on this baby you see that there is no query anywhere around and for a lack of a better name so if I wanted to fix one of these things I have no the query that is producing this is right here okay and so one query is producing all of these values right here throwing out these values and so what I what I'm calling this is uh, you can throw values, uh, throw output, throwing output, like throwing a baseball or a football, throwing values. And so here is a query that is producing all of these, you see. And so it's one query looking at the same filters, except for I'm saying address line 1 goes in cell A1, address line 2 goes in line A2, address line 3 goes in a, uh, line 3, and address value 4 goes into line 4. Okay, and so this is the, the idea of producing a query and throwing the value into another cell. So we're the query is in cell A1, but it is throwing values over to other cells. Okay, and so let's look at the way you do that. And so let's just rewind a little bit. I have here a query that right now has its value going into A1. It's in A1 and its tar output is going into A1. But now I could take this, bring that value over, and click this into A2. You see, so I'm clicking cell A2 and, whoops, sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. I've got that highlighted and I click A2 here and I've got that. And then I say I want cell 3 thrown over here. Whoops, cell address line 3. I, I highlight it, click where I want it, the answer thrown. Okay, C click that. You see, all right, address line four, I have it highlighted and I click that right there. You see, and so I've thrown, I'm throwing output coming from one query and throwing it into four different target cells, output cells. Okay, and I won't bother 
uh, centering those but if I well I could center them just to remind you how to do it one more shot at seeing how to do it I've highlighted all of them and then I'll click format and open my format alignment horizontal center across cells and we go okay you see and so now when we extract this one query is producing and throwing all of those values the queries in a1 and it's throwing its answers into a1 a2 a3 and a4 well that's a nice little trick well let me show you the problem with this so that's nice and looks slick but you can easily make things very confusing and it's a basic principle of what we're doing in, in Q&A is that we want to build every Q&A sheet as if it's being used widely around the world. So we're not going to be selfish little things, but we're going to make all of our sheets so they can be used broadly through the SunPlus network. And let me just show you the problem. All right, so here I have in a simple little thing like this, the confusion and the, re the problems this create are not obvious and so to really demonstrate the problems this create I need to go to a complicated report and so I'm just going to for a handy complicated report I've gone to the financial statements and I've got my financial statements here and I'm looking at this and I see I have a problem here in cell D1 a big huge negative cash figure I figure I must have a problem and I want to look at the query well before I leave this uh, view here and I try to drill down I can't drill down on that number okay and it's saying I can't drill down on it and so I want to fix the query that's coming up with my cash figure and so I come over here back to design view and go to the query this this coming up with my cash figure so I'm doing double click here instead of opening the query I've got nothing that value that we were looking at a few minutes ago is being thrown from somewhere else on this sheet I have no clue where that value is coming from it's impossible for me to work backwards from this answer that is just appearing out of nowhere back to the query so I consider it bad practice to be throwing the answers because there's no trail there's no way I can look at cell D10 and and work and find out where it's being thrown from so I have to I have to search every cell on this entire sheet which is you know probably a thousand different cells on this entire sheet looking from where it's thrown from and just to show it to you I just happen to know where it is because I put it in there and it's down here in the bottom right here okay I'm in cell D79 now throwing my answer into D10 so this is my cash calculation and I'm having the answer thrown into D10 well there's no way to find that where the answers being from the answer when this thing is extracted just appears there in D10 where it came from there's no way to know and so it, it's a very dangerous practice which I discourage and occasionally when I've used it I've been sorry that I've done I've actually had to use it a few times when there was absolutely no other way to get the results I wanted to look the way I wanted them but I will tell you that it is a very serious problem and adds a lot of confusion for the people that will come after you to have to maintain your sheets so I would like to encourage you to only use these when you're in a pinch and so thank you for listening and um, stay tuned for more videos